God invokes God's blessing through a prayer song. considered at various levels. As we came to the end of the academic year, we have a large gathering here to share our happiness. The chief guest of this function, Mr. Patrick Epidado, is a member of our family. We are really honored to have you with us. I welcome sir back to our family. Managing trustee of Reality Education Foundation, Professor Matthew C. Nainan keeps a keen interest in all our activities. Though he is always busy in the school, we are happy to have you with us, sir. I welcome to this function. The correspondent of the degree college, Dr. Roy Pillis, makes sure that we have we have everything in the college for successful conduct of the, all the activities. A hearty welcome to you, sir. <laughs> the correspondent of PU Sexton, Mr. Vergis Daniel, is also with us today, and we are extremely ha happy to have you with us. I welcome you, sir, to this function. Our principal, Professor Samuel K. Samuel, is a person who gets us in all our activities. I extend a warm welcome to you, sir. <laughs> to parents, I welcome Mr. Ellis Abraham, the trustees, invited guests, parents, and their friends. Thank you, Dr. Randall. Thank you, Punitra. Thank you, Dr. Randall. Thank you, Dr. Randall. Thank you, Dr. Our parents and other dignitaries assembled here would be interested in knowing what's really going on in the college. The report of the principal will certainly highlight the activities of this academic year. I request our beloved principal, Professor Samuel K. Samuel, to report the, report the annual report. Esteemed Chief Guest of this function, Mr. Patrick Furtado, respected Managing Trustee of Priority Education Foundation, Rosa Matthew C. Nainan, beloved correspondents Dr. Roy Phillip and Mr. Vergis Daniel, trustees, invited guests, Professor K. Nainan, the principal of SMS College, students' council members, parents, alumni, members of the faculty and staff, and dear students. Before I present the annual report, 
let me take the pleasure of introducing our chief guest to you. We are extremely happy to have one of our distinguished alumnus, Mr. Patrick Furtado, as our chief guest this afternoon. Mr. Patrick completed his BA from Crossland College, PGDCA from St. Aloysius College, Mangalore, MSW from School of Social Work, Roshni Nilaya, Mangalore, and MPhil from Mangalore University. He has very rich experience in the field of research and has undertaken about seven research studies. Mr. Patrick participated as a resource person in various parts of Karnataka to deliver talks on literacy, rural development and community participation, rural health, child rights, child labor problems, alcoholism, adult and population education, self-groups, HIV, AIDS and social issues. At present, he is the managing trustee of Mukta Trust Honawa and the director of Sadhana Training Center Honawa. In addition to these responsibilities, he is the consultant of Dharma Jodi Society Mangalore, Queen of Apostles Education Trust Mangalore, St. Ignatius Institutions Honawa, and Queen Apostles Society Uganda, East Africa. Mr. Patrick has visited a number of countries like Austria, France, Belgium, Italy, Spain, UK, Holland, Germany, and Uganda in connection with various assignments. Mr. Patrick is one who is having a lot of regards towards our institution. With this brief introduction, on behalf of Crossland family, once again, I welcome you to our midst. <laughs> Educational institutions are the custodians and promoters of the dreams and hopes of students. We believe in imparting quality education and the same is reflected in the university examination results every year. In the May-June 2011 university exams, the final year students produced 100% pass and the overall percentage of pass was 90%. There were 14 distinctions, 24 first classes, 9 high second classes and 5 second classes. In the BCA section, the percentage of pass was 97%. Mr. Sam David scored the highest marks of 83.84% in BA Management Science, Ms. Deepika 75.24% in Social Science, and Ms. Shweda Shetty secured 80.54% in the BCA section. The overall percentage of pass in fourth sum was 78% for BA and 80% for BCA. In the second semester exams, the BA students secured 73% and BCom 40%. The top scorers in different batches are as follows. BA Management Science, fourth semester, Ms. Shweda Shetty with 82.75%. Second semester, Mr. Newlands and Samuel with 84.63%. Social Science, fourth semester, Ms. Pavitra scored 70.25%. And second semester, Mr. Peter Sunil Combs scored 67.25%. In the BCA fourth semester exam, it was Ms. Anisha Shankar Amin who stood first, scoring 76.13%. And for BCOM second semester, Mr. Timmy Prem who scored 70.71%. The rank holders of 2010 April May University exams, Mr. Nadaniel T. Varghese and Ms. Reshma, will be felicitated today for their achievements. In the second view board exam, 67% of students passed. Mr. Justin Jacob in the arts section with 82.33% and Mr. Nirish Kumar in the commerce section with 71.33% were the top scorers. Faculty and staff. The faculty and staff are encouraged to attend workshops and conferences to update their knowledge. The principal presented a paper at the Triennial Conference of Quack held at the University of the South Sivani, USA from May 22, 22nd to 25th, 2011. He also visited Davidson College Charlotte on May 26th and 27th and interacted with the faculty and students. Many faculty members hold important positions in the Mangalore University academic bodies. Three faculty members are the members of BOS, five in BOE, and two are represented in the BOS and BOE of autonomous colleges. 
The principal continued as a member of the syndicate and is nominated to the Diocesan Chair of Christianity of Mangalore University. Dr. Robert Clive G. is invited by a number of institutions, including corporate houses, as a resource person for training programs. Faculty Improvement Programs Dr. Mrs. Lily Cherian, Professor and Head, Department of Educational Psychology, University of Limpopo, South Africa, conducted a workshop on classroom management skills on December 9, 2011. Under the project Pay It Forward Series 2, Dr. Robert Clyde G. coordinated a program for the faculty on 21-12-2011. Library. At a time when the reading habits of students are declining, through assignments and library hours, students are encouraged to make use of the library resources. During the year, 654 books costing 1,51,806 were added to the library. At present, the library has a collection of 9,280 books costing 12,70,140. The library subscribes to 53 journals and magazines. Founders Day. The Founders Day this year was observed as Day for Campaign Against Corruption. All the students, staff and faculty joined in taking a pledge against corruption on 13th June 2011. Samsmar and Din. In, in, sorry, in connection with the second death anniversary of our beloved founder, Dr. C.T. Abraham, the youth Red Cross and NSS jointly organized a blood donation camp and 59 units of blood were collected. Dress materials were distributed to six girl students of the college. The faculty and students visited Spandana, a home for mentally challenged, shared food packets and made a contribution of Rs. 3,000. Students' Council The activities of the Students' Council were organized under the able guidance of Mrs. Jodi for degree section and Ms. Yashul Ashwini for PUC section. Mr. Purit Raj was elected as the chairman, Mr. Sean Babu as secretary and Ms. Shweda Shetty as joint secretary. Mr. Sandosh and Ms. Shweda were elected to the post of leader and assistant leader of PU session respectively. The activities of the Students' Council was inaugurated by Dr. P. V. Bandari, psychiatrist and director, Dr. A. V. Baliya Hospital, Udupi on 16-7-2011. The Students' Council arranged a life skills program for the second year students by Dr. Robert Clive on 14-7-2011. A one-day workshop on life skills for the final year students was held on 6th August 2011. Dr. Ajit D'Souza and Mrs. Renita D'Souza, Milagres College, Kalyanpur, were the resource persons. NSS. The activities of the NSS was inaugurated on 4-8-2011 by Mr. Kamalak Shahibha, Principal Vidya Tutorial Spetri. The annual camp was held at Government Law Primary School, Kanna, from 18 to 25th November. Mr. Dinagara, the NSS leader, and Ms. Pradima, assistant leader, provided excellent support to the program officer, Professor Johnson G. Kerr. NCC. Five students are enrolled in NCC. I would like to place on record our gratitude to the principal and NSS officer of SMS College Bremoar for permitting our students to join their NCC unit. Mahesh Tepie attended the combined annual training camp held at Hosanagara, Shomoga district from 26 2011 to 29 6 2011. Sadhavana fortnight. To create awareness about communal harmony, the students took a pledge and in addition to this, an essay competition was organized jointly by the NSS and Students Council. Social Commitment Four students are the beneficiaries of Dr. C.T. Abraham Memorial Endowment amounting to Rs. 12,398. Thirteen students enjoy full fee concession under the Free Admission to Students Scheme. The amount spent for this purpose comes to 69,786. Apart from this, Rs. 23,739 is spent under the Faculty Scholarship Fund to support eight students and all of them are provided with free midday meals. All these schemes are initiated by the faculty of the college through their contribution. I am extremely thankful to the faculty for this great gesture from their part. One student is the beneficiary of the PTA endowment. 
The students, staff and faculty contributed to be 10,920 towards the medical expenses of the mother of a PU student. Ms. Anisha Shankarami in 3rd BCA made a contribution of Rs. 2,000 towards the newly started Students' Medical Relief Fund on her birthday. The PTA Endowment. The parents contributed Rs. 29,100 towards the PTA Endowment Fund this year and the PTA Endowment Fund at present stands at 79,100. Endowments and Awards. We are thankful to Mr. Chandrasekhar Kini Chandra Sweets Brahmoar for presenting trophies to the high scorers in the university and PU board exams. The trophies are presented by him in memory of his father, Mr. Subraya Kini. Mr. Yogesh, proprietor of Ganesh Printers and Aluminus of our college, has agreed to give a cash award of Rs. 500 each to the two rank holders. Facilities added. Equipments worth 11,55,690 were added during the year. Vacuum cleaner, lecture bell, water purifier, coffee vending machine, laminating machine, cold and hot water dispenser, laptop, printers, interactive board and computers were bought using the UGC funds. Dr. Rudey Kumar Shetty, lecturer, Government First Day College, Kota Padukade, inaugurated the cafeteria on 1-8-2011. It is my duty to thank Professor K.K. Gurumurthy and Ms. Sarida for managing the cafeteria. Buildings. The UGC funded women's hostel is nearing completion. The construction of the new block of the new college block is in progress. Mr. Matai Kiai, superintendent of the college, needs to be complimented for his effort in supervising and managing the construction. Achievements of students. Mr. Ranjit P. 3rd BA and Mr. Nidin K. M. 2nd BCOM won the second place in case study competition and Mr. Ranjit Priya and Mr. Sean Babu 3rd BA won the third place in business launching project competition organized by Sri Sharada College Basru on 20th and 21st of December 2011. Mr. Sharatra State BA won the second place in clay modeling and Ms. Vinci Babu third BA, the third place in college in Crossroads 2011 held at our college. Mr. Rekshit Faspisi won the first place in wrestling in the district level PU wrestling competition. Mr. Sandhosh second BC won the third place in 1500 meters race in the district level PU competition. Crossroads 2011, the intercollegiate college fine arts First, Crossroads 2011 was organized in association with the Directorate of Student Welfare, Mangalore University. Karnataka Ledithakala Academy former chairman and renowned painter Mr. Peter Lewis inaugurated the first. 25 colleges participated in the first. Canada College Mangalore backed the championship and Alvas College Mudabidri secured the runners-up position. The other, other highlights of the academic year includes remedial coaching classes for SCST and minority students under UGC scheme, Youth Red Cross, Women's Forum, SCST Cell, HR Club, Nature Club, Anti-Ragging Cell and Subject Associations are very active, introduction of uniform for students on all days except Wednesdays, mentoring process, SQAZ and IQAZ for quality enhancement. Morning classes start with the college prayer song. Moral instruction classes for students. And Mr. Biju Tekev, physical director, continued as the coach of Mangalore University football team. I thank God Almighty for all the blessings he has showered on all of us. We firmly believe that he will continue to guide us. We remember with gratitude the contributions of our beloved founder, Dr. C.T. Abraham. His principles give us the right direction in moving forward with confidence. Let me thank Mrs. Alice Abraham for her prior support. Professor Matthew C. Nainen, Managing Trustee of Right Educational Foundation, always guided us and supported us, and I am immensely thankful to him. Dr. Roy Philip correspondent degree session found time to encourage and motivate each one of us. Mr. Vergis Daniel correspondent PU session through his advice has been a source of encouragement and I thank both of them. 
Let me thank the trustees, members of the college governing body, and heads of the sister institutions in the campus for their support. Professor Elizabeth Roy, Vice Principal Degree Section, and Mr. Sheshigri Pert, in charge of PU Section, happily shared my burden, and I have to be grateful to them. The faculty and staff are the main assets of an institution. They are always ready to go a step forward for the development of the college, and I am thankful to them. It is my duty to thank the PTA office bearers, alumni association office bearers, and all my dear students. Thank you. It has become very popular mainly due to the outstanding achievements in academic matters. Last year also, we were all made proud when two of our senior students secured ranks in the university examinations. It is our duty to felicitate the rank holders. I request Dr. Robert Clive to introduce the rank holders. Dignitaries on the days and everyone present here, a pleasant good afternoon to you all. It's my privilege to introduce the rank holders to this August gathering. Earlier, as just now Shweta said, people used to ask, where is Crossland College? But now that perception has changed. In fact, sometimes people ask, are you from Crossland College? So that makes us feel very proud. This change perception is certainly because some of our students have brought ranks to our college in the university exams. During 2009-10 university exams, two of our students secured ranks. Mr. Nathaniel Vergis secured the fourth rank and Ms. Reshma secured the fifth rank. Today, we are pleased to honor both of them. They will be honored with bouquets, cash awards and a memento each. The cash awards are sponsored by the management, the college, and Mr. Yogesh. May I now request Mr. Matthew C. Nainan, the Managing Trustee of Priority Education Foundation, to honor the rank holders. I also request the dignitaries on the dais to join him. Let me first introduce Mr. Nathaniel T. Vergis. Born to Mr. G. Vergis and Mary Vergis in Kota, Rajasthan, he completed this SSLC with 56% and he went on to get better with his plus two. He scored 72%. He completed these studies in Kota, Rajasthan. I am proud to say he completed his degree in 2009-10 with 82.2% and get thereby getting fourth rank. He is now working for Ozin and Financial, a US-based bank. He is working in Bangalore. Nathaniel, may I now request to come over to the stage and we are pleased to honor you, sir. in our own college, scoring 82%. She has been very actively involved in extracurricular activities during her degree days, and her sister, Rupa Lakshmi, also completed a degree from our college. She went on to secure the fifth rank in the BA in university exams with 81.6% mark. Now she is pursuing her MBA at MIT Moodle Ms. Reshma, we are pleased to honor you. Please come on to the stage. With your trophy, please. We would like to have a photograph with the. <laughs> this is my first time I'm handling a award, which is really of good weight. So, you know, that was, that was the trouble that I was facing coming up the stage and going down because I'm heavy also. 
So let me begin my most of my thanks to God Almighty who was there throughout my journey in this beautiful college and uh, it was my privilege and really I feel so proud to tell to people that I am a student from Crossland College. I, I never say that I am a student of Mangalore University. I, I specifically tell that I am a student of Crossland College. Because uh, the other day I remember I was talking to one of uh, a colleague, one of my friend now and he is a student from IIM Ahmedabad and he was telling that when he was studying in IIM the value of college was nothing. It was not known to people but today everyone knows it. So you know the credit, when he tells people that he is from IIM so the credit goes to him also, oh he is from IIM. So whenever I say Crossland, I am from Crossland, I believe one day it will be of so good height and level in the society that I will be proud. Now also I am proud. And let me tell why I love this college. I have many reasons, but most of them the teachers. Though the infrastructure of the college is not so big, but the quality of education they provide is wonderful. Because I was studying here, I know, I remember in my class when I was in 6th semester 3rd BA, I remember same question was asked 7 times continuously by from we students asked to a teacher and I could not see a sigh on his face that he was uncomfortable telling the problem again and again. It was though income tax, I think BA students know it very well, it's not though easy. So I really am so proud to be a student and part of this wonderful college and I wish all you are sitting over here would be so proud of Crossland College and especially the teachers you know they are really wonderful and I also do want to acknowledge my teachers from ITS who really supported me with all their prayers without them I would have never handled such a big thing in my life thank you so much enjoy the day <laughs> The chief guest of this afternoon, Mr. Patrick Ifutado, is one of our illustrious alumni. We are privileged to have you as our chief guest. The students of the college are eager to listen to your mantra of success. Over to you, sir. A warm good afternoon to you all. I feel honored as I share this desk along with these dignitaries, Professor Matthew Sinainan, the principal of Little Rock Indian School, Managing Trustee of Priority Education Foundation, Dr. Roy Philip, the correspondent and Managing Trustee of Priority in India, Mr. Vargis, the Trustee of Priority on India Trust, Professor Samuel Samuel, the principal of Crossroad College. I'm also happy to be amidst Mr. Puneet Raj, Sean Sweda City, Santosha and Sweta, the office members of the Student Council, and also with you, my India faculty, students, ladies and gentlemen. It is an emotional homecoming for me as I stand here before you today. And at this up moment, I would like to salute the great visionary, philosopher, believer of God, and more than everything, a true lover of human beings, especially children and youth. Late Dr. C.T. Abraham, the founder of this college. It was his vision, his great desire of molding rural youth with excellence in education, service to God that enabled me to pass out as the first batch student. I was fortunate that I could study in a Crossland College with subjects that interested me, especially rural reconstruction and village development. As the annual report was being read out, it filled me with a sense of joy. The list of activities since from its conception was endless, and your students, you have been fortunate enough to have been recipient of the same. Congratulations to you, Professor Samuel, and the team of staff for the commitment, interest in the growth of the students. I also would like to congratulate the HOS. Mr. Nathaniel and Mr. Reshma, and also the teachers of security. Continue your good performance in all that you aspire to do.
one an intellectual found a cocoon of butterfly. One day, a small opening appeared. He sat and watched the butterfly for several hours. As it struggled to force its body to that little hole, sensing it is the struggle, he took a part, pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining bit of the cocoon. With the expectation that at any moment the wings would enlarge and the butterfly would fly out. Neither happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a puff of body and shrunken wings. It never was able to fly. What the man in his kindness and haste did not understand was that the restricting cocoon and the struggle required for the butterfly to get through the tiny openings where nature's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into its wings so that it would be ready to fight once it achieved its freedom from the cocoon. Sometimes, struggle are exactly what we need in life. If nature allowed us to go, to, go through the, our life without any obstacles, it would cripple us. We would not be as strong as what we could have been. As a student, many of us consider the challenges that we had of us as barriers and not as opportunities leading to success. We spend a lifetime searching for happenings, happiness, peace and success. And the irony is that we never stop to search within. It is truly said by Washington Booker, success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life, but by the obstacles which he has overcome while trying to succeed. What is that lack and what is that which holds us back? Here I would like to analyze along with me our weakness and strengths in the background of incidents that took place a few days back. An engineering college student hung herself and ended her life for getting one mark less which made her chances of securing first rank at the university very great. Another college student decided that he was not able to convince his father and owner of a pretty shop to give him a new bike. That was a reason enough for him to decide that life was a little too boring and it was time to end it. There are incidents that seem to be occurring every day. Why do such incidents occur? Earlier we thought of them as happening very far in some distant places, but today they are occurring closer to us, just next door. It is important for us to consider events which did not take place according to our wills as roadblocks, and when such blocks, crises occur, we need to stand and face them boldly without running away. The need of the hour is to involve in exercise and interaction which will help us understand the importance of being courageous to accept and balance success and failures. We need to improve upon ourselves. And to do this, communicate often and open your heart. Open your heart is a matter of accepting yourself and life as it is. It is a matter of forgiving yourself and others. Involve yourself in good peer group. Choose friends who can appreciate, but also, most necessarily, also criticize you, your actions. Practice listening. Spend time in also listening to what others have to say. It helps you to realize that there are people who are going through a much more difficult time than you. Practice non-judgment. Have you ever noticed that when you judge other people, it immediately puts you in a negative mood. It is nice to know that each person's values are different and that is what makes life interesting. Find beauty in the little things and appreciate them. Focus on your strength and make your passion a priority. It will also help you know that you too are talented. Realize that beauty can be found everywhere. 
live intimately with life and start liking your own self. Focus on the good. Every day give something away. It could be a compliment, smile or as a positive intention for someone else and sometimes giving your presence to others can be the greatest gift. And most important of all, spend a few moments each day in meditation, thanking the Almighty whom we have kept far due to the excess usage of electronic gadgets, internet or fun and fantasy. Undergoing a personal transformation, we need to contribute to the society we live in. The nation looks up the students, the youth, who possess tireless energy to evolve in constructive work. Hence, to enhance its growth as students, form small groups within your communities, consisting of like-minded youth, female and male with values and ethics, without expecting any publicity and possessing true intention of supporting voiceless, innocent people suffering around us for various reasons. Become active contributors to the policy makers. Along with your course of study, try and design small action research programs that could be helpful in solving serious problems to enhance your knowledge that restrict the growing economy. As student of rural development, you could work hard to promote agriculture. The primary occupation of more than 70% of the population in India, the death of 2,50,000 young farmers since the last 15 years has indeed been very shocking. Hence, to avoid such reoccurrences, identify two or more villages as a laboratory and encourage farmers to take up cooperative farming, banking, seed banks, micro savings, organic manure, advanced technology, etc. This model program, if we design and implement in your villages through the college, will help you to improve your knowledge, the neighboring farmers to increase their produce, and the government to frame policies and at the state level and at the sector level. Think widely and plan wisely. While each one dreams of taking out a profitable job at multinational companies or in the government sector, to support self and family, also try and think in terms of establishing your own ventures, because through it you can support the financially dwindling economy, including employment. A good example of our very, my very own classmates who have set up their own firms in Brahmavar and around. This has also been the dream of our founder, late Mr. City Abraham, while initiating this college. Take active part in the decision-making process. In your own villages, towns and cities, that includes actively participating in the electoral process. Support community programs, irrespective of the religious and political background that they hail from. Above all, be an active participant. Grab the opportunities, utilize your talent, and enjoy the fragrance of life. On this 20th annual day of this prestigious college, my best wishes are all with you. It is your day. Experience it well. Exhibit your talents and perform with joy. Build up the bond between you all and enjoy this day to the optimum. I thank the management sincerely for this unique opportunity given to me to attend this celebration as chief guest, something that I never dreamt of. I bow my head down in gratitude to my alma mater for molding me in what I am today. As I conclude, these are my parting thoughts. Think about the values you wish to live your life by. Believe in yourself. Dare to face the challenges to make your dreams become reality. Wish you all a beautiful Christmas and a prosperous new year. Thank you. Dr. Roy Philip, the correspondent of the college, supports and guides us in all our activities. His words of advice helps us to go in the right path. Now I request you, sir, may kindly make your remarks. I appreciate the chief guest for delivering such a powerful message this afternoon. He challenged every one of us. 
to follow high values and give priorities in our lives and also how we can practically follow the principles and examples to face the challenges in our life. Appreciate, uh, for, appreciate to him for finding time to be with us and to deliver such a message to us this time.